हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नादिया पटेल वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल फ्राम टूडेज लेक्चर ऑन वर्ड्स वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ न्यू सीरीज अबाउट लीनक्स हैंड्स ऑन विच इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ प्रैक्टिकल सीरीज हाउ टू वर्क प्रैक्टिकली ऑन लीनक्स एनवायरमेंट नाउ एज वी हैव स्विच फ्राम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू लीनक्स ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रैक्टिकल्स इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल रफली गो थ्रू अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ लीनक्स आई डी वॉट एग्जैक्टली द आई डी ईज सो बेसिकली आई डी ई दैट इज इंटीग्रेटेड डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट इज अ सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशन दैट हेल्प्स प्रोग्रामर्स टू डेवलप सॉफ्टवेयर कोड इफिशियंटली एडिट बिल्ड टेस्ट एंड हैव अ ईजी टू यूज एप्लीकेशन एंड इट हेल्प्स इन ऑटोमेशन सो दे आर आइदर इंस्टॉल्ड और केप्ट ऑन क्लाउड एज दे कंज्यूम अ लॉट ऑफ स्पेस we are already familiar to editors which is like visual studio or netbeans it is very similar to that so using these ides you can do your coding efficiently i'll upload a separate video on different ides available for linux but in today's lecture itself we'll go through the ones which are already installed and understand them let's get familiar to linux environment right now the screen on which is showing is the desktop of your ubuntu linux Uh, my mouse pointer is not showing but you have to closely observe through the highlights so wherever it is highlighting i'm hovering my mouse over there so we are very familiar with windows where we have a task bar in the down side and we have a start button on clicking the start button we see all the applications available like our desktop has all the folders which are created on the desktop you can see it here as well in the right hand side you can see all the options where you can get help for connecting your device to internet or bluetooth so your favorite option which is after completing your practicals you just tend to shut down your machines that is going to be in the last side where you can shut your device up so all the options uh, related to connectivity to internet or bluetooth are available there when you click on the system or information you see all the basic information about your operating system which is your device name you can see your hardware model you can see what operating system is installed what is the type of operating system and we have a genome version installed so with this version the ides or software which are compatible with this configuration you need to install them we have already installed some of the applications for which we are going to make use for our practicals so let us go through the icon list first as we know that uh, into the windows when you click on the start button you see a nice list available here you can see the similar icons on the vertical arrangement all possible icons which are installed your disk if you're using external disk everything so let us click on the show applications button or icon you can see all the applications installed on this device and with that you should observe that there is something named here linux or uh, liber office so liber office is very similar to our microsoft office automation tools so you get to create your word files you get to create your excel sheets you can create your powerpoint presentation everything on linux using liber office you have different uh, ids available but we have chosen lean liber office for our version now let us simply go through how the files and folders appear so the the mouse has hovered and you can see that the folder are going to appear very similar to our windows operating system even here you can go through the by clicking on the right right click on your mouse you can create a new folder rename it your favorite cut copy paste everything can be done in this folder location but avoid doing that create your own files on your own instead of copying somebody else's material so let us come back to our terminal this is where you are going to do your practicals for this semester uh, basically you can see that this is very similar to in the look and feel to dos you can say dos command prompt so like dos prompt we are going to have uh, our terminal if the icon is not showing on your device you can simply search it and the icon will get appeared i have typed the ter so once i type it you can see that icon you can click it either from the icon list or you can search it so as you can see that this is not going to be the dos prompt but this is dollar prompt you can see a dollar over there so you can simply run some commands and check i am just running ls command which is listing command so that we can see which files and folders are already created 
so the list has got appeared i've pressed enter and you can see some files are in the blue color and some files appear to be in the white the ones which are in the blue color are the directories or folders and the ones appearing to be in the white are files so now let us try creating a folder which is a directory in dos v or in operating system c practicals the first assignment which you did was md command so here for creating a directory we are going to make use of mkdir i have created a test assignment named folder and i have again run the ls command you can see the test assignments folder is already done it is created we need to locate the same in the folder location so i am just minimizing the screen you can see there are icons and options where you can close the window you can minimize the window and you can also uh, i can say adjust the properties of this window i'm just minimizing it let's go to our folder location again and locate this folder you can see the test assignment yeah it is done test assignments folder is done which is empty right now i'll close it and we'll create simply a file inside this folder you can click on the you can right click by selecting this folder and go into the properties where you can see where this folder is created that is in the home and this is the root location you can change or add or give some permissions to this folder and you can also share this folder over internet or you can say over network if the device is into the lab or it is connected to a network now let us go back to the terminal screen and try creating a file inside it for creating a file inside this folder we need to uh, go through the directory handling commands and file handling commands which i don't think it is necessary right now what i have done is i have selected the whole window i have copied it and i'm trying to paste it in a libreoffice file so i have typed given a title named assignment and will simply enter and paste it you can make use of the options and you can also make use of the shortcuts so anyhow you can do it we'll save this file you can see the name is appearing in the orange uh, above but before that i'll just select my folder first i've selected the folder test assignments i'll double click on it and now i'll simply give a nice name to that file but i'm just searching if the file is available or not okay the file is not showing even if the file of same name similar name is available it will prompt you so give a proper name which could be your assignment name or assignment number and simply save that file before saving that file make sure the file extension is proper so you can see a list of different uh, extensions available or file supported i'm keeping it in the default uh, extension itself so let us save it and close this file now let's locate this file inside our test assignments folder so this word file should be yes it has got saved in here you can do the same thing by using terminal which i'll show you in the coming video lectures but by by far now i think this is what you should understand that how is the look and feel of linux operating system where you can create your word files and yes you can print this file up which is uh, important for your practical in coming lectures we'll go through one more assignment thank